And now, the Babylon Bee's Topic of the Week. Well, today we're talking about cancel culture. Specifically, there was this Harper's letter that a bunch yeah, of that. prominent people signed saying, uh, you know what, this cancel culture thing is going a little too far. It was coming from a left-leaning side, right? Left-leaning. It, it like, took a lot of swats at Trump. And they were saying that uh, Trump's horrible. We can't be like we can't be like that. We're being horrible. It was a lot of it was the left coming to grips with the fact that oh no, we've created a huge monster and it's about to eat us. Yeah, they, that they, was they had what it seemed they like. had to couch it in like uh, well, it's the right who are always the bad ones of this, but we're starting to yeah. inch over into that area. It's like okay, whatever. As long as you're <laughs> okay, long yeah. as you're finally doing I know, something I was, about it. I was it. about to like go on there and see like how I could get on board with this. And I was like, oh, I see where they're coming. <laughs> and then I saw people posting like, this guy, people on this list have tried to cancel us before. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, they're all, they're already, it, it, it's such a uh, like generic, like we need free exchange of ideas and things and there should be a, <laughs> a bunch of fear about it. And they don't list any specific examples, but it's already just like people are freaking out about it. And uh, really? I like, I remember one guy from Vox, uh, was it Matt, uh, Iglesias, he uh, had like, so he works with already say, I feel unsafe because he signed on this letter with other people. And it, it's just, it's insane. <laughs> so, yeah, what have some of the responses to this been? Like, there, there really are people. Well, two have already. The time we live in. Two right? have already renounced it. They said, well, when I signed oh this God. letter about how uh, council culture, I didn't realize who I was signing it with or, you know, like free. Or it was like free exchange of ideas. I didn't realize who I was signing it with. It's like there's nothing wrong with the message, but you don't want to get associated with other people. Of course, they don't even mention who or what. That's that's the weird thing. You can't have both. Like you can't have this. Like I can't associate myself with this other human being and free speech. Like if you're gonna, you know, if if that's the only thing you're sharing, free speech. If, if they're gonna be violent, then yeah. Like if there's somebody like I. I but free speech encompasses people saying whatever they want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I've seen like two main reactions to criticism. It's like uh, people saying, well, either cancel culture is not real or cancel culture is real and it's just what we call accountability and it's a good thing. And it's, but both. Yeah, like it's just the free market working. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, and the other people they act like it's complicated. Like, what is cancel culture? Would please define it. And it's like, to me, it was like simple. It's like, normally someone says something you disagree with, go, I disagree with you. Well, in cancel culture, it's like, let's see what your employer thinks about what you just said. And it's it's all about using fear to like keep people in line. Yeah, and it's not, in the sense of it being free market, it's not customers of that business usually that are attacking that business. It's like, in, in a lot of cases, they're coming from outside. They never even cared what these people made or what their this company does, but they come and try to destroy them from the outside because of something they said or did online, a viral video of them doing something or saying something. Yeah, if we just say it's like we have a, a very illiberal group now, and they don't know how to argue anymore. So they just know how to like bully and try to scare people mm-hmm. from disagreeing. And I think that's what you have. You have like so many people disagree with these things, but they just they don't they aren't going to speak up unless they're like a billionaire and uncancelable. I liked that Vox writer that was upset about. Uh, well, it was a, a coworker. I guess, or it was the Matt Iglesias guy that had signed it, and uh, said they felt unsafe or whatever. And then uh, I think it, I don't know, it's a trans woman or something. I, I don't know if I was reading it right, but she goes, uh, <laughs> and then she goes like, I, "I'm not trying to get anyone fired here." You know, it's, <laughs> it's like, why are you writing a public letter? I mean, it's so weaselly. Yeah. I mean, that's someone I would feel unsafe working with. So would it like it's like a real weasel and trying to get other people fired. Yeah, I've seen it a few times where someone will will point out something that they're trying to get someone canceled for. They'll do all these screenshots, they'll link in this big thread, and then at the end they'll be like, now I'm not saying that anyone should contact their employer. I'm not saying that this person should be canceled. But, uh, you know, I I just wanted to, I'm just just posting their own words. And it's like, you know exactly what you're doing, you weasel. Yeah, (laughs) it's so foreign to me. It's like, I hear, see stuff I really disagree with all the time, and my reaction is maybe at worst I write an angry tweet, and I try not to. But it's like the idea of just like going after someone's employer and stuff. It's like it's insane to me. It's, I mean, these yeah, people. I guess I've never had that thought in my life. I've never had that thought in my life. I don't know. Yeah. Who? I wonder, I wonder who you work for. Oh, Enterprise Rent a Car. Mm-hmm. I wonder what they think about what you just said. The only time I've had the thought is if the if this person did that. Okay, yeah, I didn't get, get that get vengeful thought. I want to get him back. Right. Yeah. yeah, and they're really squirming now because they know everybody. They're they're. 
they can they know they're the villains, but they're trying mm-hmm. to just try to justify like all their horrible behavior. <laughs> And it's it's like it, – because that's the worst thing, you know. It's like uh, the left, they always want to be on the right side of history. They don't want to be – they want the history books to, you know, be published and, you know, they look under the wrong side section see their names put there. <laughs> Is that the classic, are, are we the baddies? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sketch. I was trying to find it. I thought that there's like a quote from uh, George Orwell or something about how his he fears the uh, censorship from – other people more than he does from like the media or whatever, or from the government, right? Or I guess it's from media from within, like us censoring ourselves. Well, yeah, it's got really scary. We don't have government censorship, but it's just like, uh, but every it's, every employer seems very vulnerable if they have any outrage that they just got to like fire people and stuff. And it's it's it you know it's everybody's getting terrified. Mm-hmm. It feels very the, Soviet. Yeah, it was always the the division between the two kinds of dystopian futures that novelists always imagine was like one of them was the government just cracks down on everybody and the other one was the people first turn against free speech and turn Mm -hmm. against the free exchange of ideas and then the government comes along and bans it we're in that one that's kind of what it feels like right now (laughs) because you know there were very strong uh court decisions for free speech the constitution has done a pretty decent job of protecting free speech Mm mm-hmm um, you know, we're a satire site where it's jokes all the time and we don't like sit here and worry that someone's going to crack down on us because we have pretty good free speech protections for the most part, but it feels like it's the culture that is going to turn against that first. Yeah. Yeah. And it used to, yeah. Cause he, well, it's, oh, it, it used to be like something, yeah, the left, right would agree on is like free speech is important yeah. and it's just, it, it's, you it used to be the, there's like at least a few things we all agreed on and now it just doesn't mm-hmm. feel like there's anything there anymore you have like people going after free speech it's not just you know the second amendment it's the first amendment it's uh you know a due process now people going after it's getting crazy people yeah. trying to quarter soldiers in our homes yeah it's like <laughs> <laughs> i did i don't have a guest room i got four kids <laughs> <laughs> yeah what was that there's a guy that tweeted recently he's like uh, there's no culture war right there's just uh People that don't like racism versus people that really love racism. <laughs> like, I can't really exact. But it was crazy though. Like he couldn't see that they're. Yeah, you know, if gr- you're not on his side, you're a racist. I'd love to look at the world that simply. Like it was all like you know the know. very first Star Wars movie. Everything's black and white, evil. Yeah, good guys. There's a lot of people that do. That's what's insane to me, and it's really hard to make the case for free speech to, like this generation i don't know what the right way of framing it is it seems like there's arguments to be made for like why we let people say mean things yeah it's like what are we teaching in school it's like this is like the most important thing the whole point of this country the civics and liberty i mean why these are important mm-hmm. it's like i i i mean it's like uh when people want like a hate speech law it feels like that's elementary explain why that's a bad idea yet people don't get it you no know, yeah the moment you say that, you should, it shouldn't be a hate speech law. like, oh, you're a racist. Well, it's like... You're trying to protect the KKK. I mean, it's like obvious. You want Trump deciding what's hate speech? I mean, it's like, it's yeah. like you don't see the problems <laughs> with this? It's like they're suggesting <laughs> more government power when there's a guy in charge that they hate and distrust, and they don't they don't mm-hmm. get it. And it, it's like, I don't know how you, you get through their skulls on that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. So vote for Kanye. <laughs> Kanye, he will do it. He in will conclusion. unite us. I don't think he'll do anything, but it is since we're all headed down the tubes anyway. Hashtag Vision Twenty Twenty. Vision Twenty Twenty. Yeah, when he we he turns thing around, you know, you'll you'll think differently. We'll finally, yeah. you know, be yeah. You never know. Could be wrong again. So, uh, if cancel culture is real, then how come J.K. Rowling is still <laughs> around? Yeah. Yeah, I saw a lot of the people that, well, no, these people have been canceled. Well, yeah, that's why they could speak out on it. It's like the Joe Schmo yeah. who, like, nobody's heard of. That's who, who you should be worried about because they're going to get canceled and no one will know and no one will help them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get to a certain amount of wealth and you can kind of say whatever you want. Yeah. But it's the guy that's working at Target that has a political opinion people don't like. And that's where the can- that's where the cancel culture really comes after. Yeah, that's where that... Yeah, small businesses too. Like, Yeah. Uh, I can't remember there's a recent one online, one of these women who's accused of being like a Karen or something. Yeah. They just completely destroyed her business. Yeah. I can't remember all the details. Yeah, it's billionaires going to save us. My wife was reading it That's to me. why left hates billionaires. They know those are the only people yeah. who, are, who aren't afraid to speak <laughs> out. Yeah. It's that's like uh, the they're... emperor's new clothes, you know, like it's like the little kid who says like, the emperor's actually naked, but in real life, uh-huh. it would be some jerk billionaire. It's like, 
that in person naked. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one I can say without getting. I cancel this man. He's like, I got money. Who cares? <laughs>